Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's Tuesday, so it's Case the Catalogue Day, and I have an awesome card for you today. It is using the Happy Tales bundle in the New Occasions catalogue, and I love this card, um, and I love this bundle. Um, if you're a dog lover, this is going to be a must. So the sentiment is just for you, or for you. And I really love the colorings of this. So I'm gonna bring in the catalog. It is on page 33. And in the catalog, it is actually using balmy blue and I've gone with blueberry bushel. I just don't have um, the Suttles designer series paper pack. So I went with the um, in colors and I just changed it around a little bit. So I've gone with blueberry bushel as the background and for the sentiment here that is blueberry bushel, I've changed that into the balmy blue. So this stamp set comes with an, a coordinating punch, the dog punch, and purchasing them together, you save yourself 10%. So it's a really great saving, and it's a great set. It comes with a kennel, bone, heart, and some really great sentiments as well. So like I said, this is the card we're making. Let's get over to the craft table and we'll get started. So for this gorgeous card, the supplies you'll need are the Happy Tales stamp set, with the coordinating uh, dog punch. We have the stitched shape framelit dies and we're using the largest square stitched framelit. We also have the 2018-2020 in color designer series paper. Now these are gorgeous too because they come in all the in colors but there's stripes as well as um, dots. So these are a really great value to have in your kit. And we're using the blueberry bushel design series paper for that one. The inks on this card are Poppy Parade, Grey Granite and Blueberry Bushel. We're also using Versamark and Memento ink. With the Versamark we are white embossing uh, this sentiment just down here, the Just For You. And the other tool that we're using is the Classic Label Punch. And um, I've been using this a lot lately and I think that this is a really great punch to have in your toolkit. Also we're using the heat tool because we are embossing. Okay, so I have my card kit here and all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog which is in the description of this video. There is also a link there to my online store so if you're in Australia you can purchase your Stamping Up supplies through me. Um, if you do, please use the hostess code for the month and I'll send you out a free gift. And also celebration is on at the moment. So for every $90 that you spend, you get to choose a free celebration item. Uh, there is also a really great special on uh, for joining as a demonstrator during celebration period. If you have any interest in joining uh, Stamping Up New Live in Australia, I would love to answer any of your questions or help you along the way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and I have a Whisper White card base and it's half an A4 sheet of cardstock. I've already scored in the middle and we're just going to fold and burnish on that score line. So this is really quite a simple card, I think, and I like simple cards. So I have a piece of the designer series paper in the blueberry bushel and that's just going to be popped straight down onto that card. We have a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock that we're going to uh, cut out with the stitched framelit. So let's bring the big shot in. We'll do that one first. Also grab the largest square framelit. That's the one that we'll be die cutting with. Now if you're just starting out with stamping up, highly recommend saving up and buying a big shop. It is the best tool to own. Let's pop that one through. And this leaves a beautiful stitching all the way around the edge. There we go. I use these quite regularly. Now this set is a photopolymer set, so we are going to need 
the foam mat. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm also going to stamp the Just For You in the Versamark ink. And we're going to heat emboss that. So I'm doing all the, the time consuming stuff first. So let's... And I might, because I know I'll stuff it if I don't. We'll just put the embossing buddy over the top there to try and get rid of any static. Stamping straight down, straight up. I'm going to bring the white embossing powder in. And I just keep mine in a container. the heat tool. Now for my sentiments, because I really like that, I'm going to cut it out with the Classic Label Punch. And I'm just going to trim that down so it's just got the sentiment there. So there's our sentiment. Let's bring in our stitched square that we um, previously cut out with Big Shot. And I have my little paw print. And we're going to stamp that all the way around in the blueberry bushel ink. So you're just going to want to move around that stamp so it's all over the place. So that looks really good. I'll leave that out because we're going to um, stamp the collar of the puppy in that. I'm going to bring in my piece of Whisper White. And I'm also going to bring in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. We're going to stamp our dog down on the Memento. So just like that. He looks gorgeous just like that, but let's make him a little bit more cuter. So I have my grey granite here, and I'm going to ink up the spots. Now, the smaller spot goes on his face. So let's ink that up. Just going to line him up. We can see straight through, so I should get this right. Stamping him straight down, straight up. Beautiful. And also while we've got the blue out, let's bring in that collar. So here's his collar. I'm gonna ink that up and stamp down. Now the last little bit to do is the heart. But first off, before we do that, I just want to bring in the punch and punch that out. Lines it perfectly. Now, if I used my Stamparatus, I could have lined the outline of the dog punch and my heart together so they punched out. I just didn't do that. So if you want to do that, you just stamp on a piece of scrap paper line them up so they're all lined in. Then you can place this down onto your Stamparatus plate and then place your um, stamp straight down. So you'll be picking it up 
um, from that area so you've lined them up perfectly so I'm just going to bring in that piece of uh, real red as well sorry piece of whisper white and I'm going to bring in the poppy parade because we're going to stamp that gorgeous little heart there we go and bring that punch back in and we're just going to punch out that heart have all our pieces all done let's bring everything in so my piece of um, design series paper I've just made that a little bit longer so I can trim that slight slither off the end so let's glue this down and we're leaving a border over to the left the card so where the spine is of the card so lining that all up beautiful so turn that over and it's a really slight slither so let's just chop that off him done. I'm going to stick this blueberry bushel piece straight down so just using my Tombow again. There we go. I'm going to pop some dimensionals and I'm going to use the mini dimensionals on him. a new sheet out my other ones have gone MIA I've got no idea where they are so let's pop a few down so changing the different color combos this card is so cute and you could make plenty of them make a whole stack now in the catalog too there's also a cat um, stamp set that coordinates with that cat punch that's been in the catalog so if you're a cat person you're catered for as well I'm so glad that they've brought a dog one out and there's also a horse um, stamp set in the catalogue as well so I think Stampin' Up's definitely been listening to our ideas I'm just taking all those little backings off you could use the big normal size dimensionals as well they all work I'm going to pop him off just over like that okay I'm going to place a dimensional mini dimensional on the back of his heart here attach that to like his collar just like that and the sentiments going to be just popped up with some mini dimensionals as well so let's stick a couple down I love this blueberry bushel embalming blue color combo I do my favorite color is blue so really happy with these colors I'm 
We're just gonna pop that down just like that. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this card tutorial using the Happy Tales uh, bundle. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Don't forget to head over to my blog where all the measurements and supplies can be found. And I also have an online store for all your stamping up supplies if you live in Australia. Now, stamping up is currently in celebration at the moment and it is the perfect time to uh, join stamping up. If you've ever thought about being a demonstrator and joining, I would love to help you out and um, for you to be part of my team. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.